Hi guys, welcome to the third video of the Golang and React full stack real-time chat application project series. In the second video, uh, we started creating all these components, chat history, chat input, header and message, and we had even completed the chat input um, component. So now what we'll do is we'll work on our app.js file and um, then we'll also work on our API folder. All right. So inside API folder, actually, we'll just uh, create the file in keep. So it's called index.js, right? And uh, so let's come back to the app.js file. And here, let's start importing some stuff. So we'll say import React and component from React. So this is a basic um, react stuff so i'm not uh, you know i'm going a, a bit fast but if you are having difficulties in understanding what i'm doing here uh, do feel free to put that in the comments below and i'll try and help you out and i'll try to explain to you what's happening all right so here we're just importing react and component from react and we're just importing the header from components and then we'll import uh, chat history chat history um, component from components slash chat history slash chat history so by default this gets you the um, JSX file right this is header.jsx, this is chat history.jsx, and both they're both in the chat history and header folders inside components folder, right? Components folder, chat history, and uh, header folders. And these are the JSX files that we have imported out here. And we also need the chat input component from components slash chat input slash chat input. And then we'll also import the app.css file. And we'll import. So we'll create uh, two different functions now. So one will be the connect function. The other will be the send message function. And they'll both be inside your uh, index.js in the app uh, API folder. So we'll say API for now. And here we'll start writing our app. So the component that we just uh, imported here, we are using it here, here out here to create our app. And here we'll say constructor props. dot state let's initialize the state so state is equal to so in the beginning chat history will obviously be null you know there'll be nothing there so it's an empty array for now and when our component mounts so we'll say component did mount uh, we'll use the connect method so what I'll do now is I think I'll just create the connect method here. Um, so let's go to your API and index. Let's work on this file actually. So let's say where socket, let's create a socket new web socket. New web socket. And Let's create our connect. So connect is equal to console.log connecting. And if the uh, socket opens, so we'll say socket dot on open.
console.log successfully connected. So if the socket uh, was open, it'll say successfully connected. If there's a message, uh, if the socket receives a message, socket dot on message. Now all these functions like on message, on open, you get access to them using socket, right? Which you have defined here, which is basically a web socket. So if it receives a message, so all you have to do is console.log message from WebSocket and we'll display the message out here. And then we'll have socket.onclose, socket.onclose. So we'll take the onclose event and we'll say console.log socket closed connection and then we'll print out the event and then we'll have if there's an error so we have the access to socket.on error property and we'll capture the error here and then we can say console.log socket error comma error and lastly we will have our um, send message so we'll say let send message is equal to message console dot log sending message comma message and socket dot send message so we have two functions that we have to find one is the connect and one is send message send message just uses socket dot send to send the message and connect um, has provisions for all of these different properties that socket gives us like on open when the you know connection is open when a message is sent when socket is closed and when there's an error all right so all we have to do is we'll have to just export connect and send message from this file so in our app.js back in our app.js we have to make use of these uh, functions so we'll say connect and then here we have access to our message and we'll say this dot set state we'll take our previous state sorry to take our previous state we'll just wrap this in uh, regular brackets and then curly braces Actually, let me just create this whole thing again. So we'll say connect message. And here uh, we'll have a curly braces and we'll say console.log new message. And after this, we'll say this dot set state previous state we will say chat history previous state dot chat history our message so all that's happening here is that first you uh, you know define a constructor and then you take the state you define the state so the state has only one object uh, one value it has the chat history which is an array which is empty as of now when a new message is received Right, you take uh, this dot set state function, and you take you get access to the previous state, and you take chat history, 
which will now become equal to previous uh, previous state the chat history of the previous state and the new message that come that came here so it's going to be an addition of both of those things right all the messages that you had in the history and then the new message that came that's the new state of chat history uh, pretty straightforward and then um, we'll also need to console out the state so we'll say console.load state and we'll put a semicolon here we can have our render function here which just returns a div of class name is equal to app And here you'll have your header component. You will have your chat history component. With chat history is equal to this dot state dot chat history. You pass this as a props. So the chat history that you have access to here, you're passing it as props to this um, component here, right? And the props can be accessed using chat history. So we'll use this um, to access this uh, chat history inside the chat history component when we work on it in some time. Then you have your chat input send is equal to this dot send. And we put a semicolon here. And here you can export default. So we have worked on our app.js file and we have worked on our API uh, file as well and both of them are complete. I'll keep this video short and in the next video we'll actually start working on our other components right like chat history and header and uh, message. So do subscribe to this channel so that you come to know when the next video of this series comes out. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next episode.